Section 6.2, logarithmic functions. Um, feel free to call them logs for short. Since f of x equals b to the x is 1 to 1, we know it has an inverse function. So remember those, if we have 1 to 1, then we can find an inverse. And that's what logs are. So y equals log base b to the x, if and only if, meaning we can kind of go either direction, um, b to the y equals x. So they're inverses of each other. The way I do remember this is if I have log base b of y, I take base b, I draw an arrow to the other side for y being my power. So b to the y equals x, what's ever inside the log. Logs solve for powers. The common log has base 10, so we write log base 10 of x. Um, and the one we'll use the most is the natural log. It has base e. And so instead of writing log base e of x, we write this new thing called ln of x. So let's try some examples. Um, let's rewrite log base 3 of 1 third equals negative 1 in exponential form. So I'm going to take the 3, draw an arrow to the negative 1. So 3 to the negative 1 equals what's ever inside the log, 1 third. And we learned in the exponent section, right, negative powers are reciprocals. So 3 to the negative 1 equals 1 third is a true statement. Example 2. Let's rewrite 9 to the 1 half equals 3 in the log form. So we're going to write log base something of something equals something. So the base is always the same. So 9 is a base for a power. So 9 is my base for the log. So log base 9 or 9 to the 1 half means 9 is the base in either situation. Um, I'm going to leave it blank and say equals. Um, logs always equal powers. So one half goes on the outside. Logs are solving for powers. So it equals one half, and so it ends up being log base nine of three equals one half. And we can always go back and check. So nine to the one half power, does that equal three? Yep, because the square root of nine is three. All right, we're not going to graph logs too much, um, but you do need to know one graph for calculus, so I'll just review the graphs and let you know which one you need to know. So since a log base b of x is the inverse of b to the x, it will reflect about the line y equals x. So that's that diagonal down the middle. So my first graph will look at when the base is bigger than 1. So again, that's flat, and then it goes up for b to the x. And so log base b of x will just be the reflection about y equals x. So it goes up and then it flattens out, um, but it still goes up forever. It just goes up very slowly. And then the asymptote used to be y equals 0, so now the asymptote has changed to x equals 0. And then b to the x, when b is less than 1, this one will be a little bit less common, so I don't know that I ever graph this one, but we should at least be aware of it. Um, that was b to the x where it went down and flattened out. And then when we reflect about y equals x, we get a reflection of that graph. So that one starts off really high and then goes down. And so the graph we're going to use the most is um, f of x equals ln of x. So if the base is e, that's bigger than 1. So that's the graph you'll use in calculus the most. So it's going to look like log base b of x when b is bigger than 1. So graph of ln of x is probably the one you'll see the most in calculus. So let's just look at a couple properties of the graph, and then we'll simplify a couple logs. So some properties, um, when b is bigger than 1, we can visually see that it's increasing. We say the function is increasing. Logs increase slowly, but they do increase. And that's a calculus property you'll talk about, is how they increase, but it's a very slow increase. And then when the base is less than 1, you can see from the previous example that graph is decreasing. Um, 
like I mentioned, um, x equals zero is now a vertical asymptote. So instead of having a horizontal, we have a vertical at x equals zero. Um, the domain is the range of exponential functions. So the range of b to the x, we might not remember, but it was zero to infinity. So the domain of logs will be zero to infinity, meaning I can only plug in positive numbers. The range of logs will be the domain of b to the x. Remember that was a special inverse property. So the range is all real numbers because that was the domain of exponentials. So the output is all real numbers. The x-intercept will be 1, 0. We can see that in the graphs before. Um, since before we had 0, 1, when we reflect about y equals x, we get 1, 0. So that's where that's coming from. And we have no y-intercepts. And then it'll be continuous on 0 to infinity and 1 to 1. So a couple properties about logs. These will be really useful for simplifying. So log base b of 1. So this is true for any base, and it'll be 0. Why is it 0? Because b to the 0 power is 1. Any number to the 0 power is 1. Log base b of b, so when the bases match, we always get 1. And this is true because b to the 1 power is the same thing, b. Right, 2 to the 1 power is 2. 3 to the 1 power is 3. And then these last two examples have to do with the inverse property. We learned back when we learned inverses that f of f inverse of x just brings us back to x. They cancel each other out. So b to the log base b cancels out and just leaves me with x. And then if we have log base b of b to the y, they cancel out and just leave me with y. And that's because they're inverses of each other. So example three will simplify. Um, we'll use these properties if we can, um, otherwise I'll show you what to do. So log base eight of eight is one, right? And that comes from the idea that eight to the one power is eight. Log base 19 of one, um, we learned any log of one will be zero, or that's because 19 to the zero power is one. How about the next one, log base 6 of 36? So this doesn't quite cancel out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 6 to the what power equals 36. So it's like backwards thinking. And so I think it's 2. 6 squared is 36. So the solution to the log is 2, the power. We're solving for the power. How about log base 3 of 1 ninth? Again, it's not as immediate as part A and B, so I'm going to say 3 to the question mark equals 1 ninth. So I know 3 squared is 9, so how am I going to make 1 ninth? How am I going to flip it? That'll be those negative powers. So 3 to the negative 2 will flip it to 1 ninth, so the output of this log is negative 2. All right, and ln of e, so ln is base e, so you can write that down if that's helpful. And so since the base matches, it's just 1. And that's because e to the 1 power brings me back to e. So sometimes it might be helpful to add the e down there just as a reminder that it's the base. Um, but if you've done lns before, maybe you don't need that. But if it's new, it might be helpful. So how about the ln of the square root of e? So ln base e of square root of e. So e to what power will get me a square root? And so those are 1 half powers. So e to the 1 half equals square root e. So 1 half. 